Hey everyone, thank you for tuning in. My name is David A. Quad and welcome to my YouTube channel. This is my weekly Sunday vlog <clears throat> for January 10th, 2021. In this video, I'm going to give you guys a shout out, Q&A's. I'll tell you guys my reviews and thoughts on the movies I, I saw this past week and uh, maybe a haul video at the end. I bought some things. Maybe I'll show it out to you. I'll show it off to you guys. Okay, let's do shout outs first. People who comment on last week's video asking for a shout out. Okay, and we can do the same thing this week too. Okay, comment on this video if you want a shout out or you have a question. I'll answer it next week. All right, I'll pick out my favorite questions. But if you want a shout out, I'll give you a shout out no matter what. So people who ask for shout outs last week's vlog. Young X Jesus with the plays. A Z Pack Seventeen is my friend Nick here. Eleanor K. Alpenda, longtime viewer, multi gunman, uh, regular on my live streams, Oliver Thompson, the dopey deity, aka Humanoid John on Instagram, and Porter Unboxing. Thank you guys for uh, checking out my videos, commenting, liking, spreading the word. Okay, uh, you guys are awesome. Uh, we have a few uh, questions. I picked out like five questions from last week's vlog to answer in this week's vlog. And if I don't answer your question, ask it again. Okay? So the first one here is from Sir Isaac Clark. Hey David, what's your favorite season in Smallville? Uh, I think I answered this question before. I like season three. Because season three has some of my favorite episodes. There's one episode where uh, there's this one boy and whoever he touches, he can see how they die. And he touch Clark and he see, you see, you see the Superman cape and stuff like that. It was awesome, man. I really liked that episode. There's a few episodes concerning like uh, Jor-El. There was like a, 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 he found a medallion or something like that. Clark found a medallion that would like give him memories of Jor-El when he visited Earth a long time ago. And at the end of the episode, we learned that it wasn't like, it wasn't an accident that Jonathan and Martha found Clark. Maybe they were chosen, you know, because uh, his grandpa helped uh, Jor-El a long time ago when he, he visited uh, Earth as a, as, a, as, a, as a kid, you know, as a young person, okay? There was another episode where uh, the, the, the kryptonite bullet that almost killed Clark, that was part of season three. Uh, there was one episode where he, when uh, Clark got a girlfriend and the girlfriend was like a complete psycho but she has like superpowers also and stuff like that. So that was one of my favorite seasons, was season three. Um, I was actually on the fence about getting uh, Smallville uh, visually, but uh, just season three. But I was like, eh, if I want to watch those episodes, I'll, I'll just uh, look up the clips on YouTube or just uh, watch my DVDs, okay? Uh, next question here. The Multi-Gun Man, what's your favorite Beavis and Butthead episode? Uh, I also gave a uh, multi man a, a shout out too. <laughs> um, among so there's like different eras of Beavis and Butthead. I think there's like a before and an after. You know, like a there was a reboot uh, 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 era. You know, among the reboot episodes, I like the one where they were they volunteered to clean uh, animals. The birds that got uh, got affected by an oil spill, okay? They're like baby birds, right? And they got affected by uh, uh, by an oil spill, and they were going to volunteer to clean them. But the whole reason that wasn't the whole reason why they volunteered is because their teacher said that there would be filthy chicks at the oil spill. They're like, oh, I want to be, I want to meet these filthy chicks, you know? <clears throat> but of course, uh, their reason was talking about. Uh, the birds, you know. <laughs> That's one of my favorite episodes. I'm on the old stuff. I guess the one where they, they uh, you know, they started, they kept going back in grades and they ended up like in kindergarten. Like they, they, they were just like, <laughs> the teachers just kept, kept pushing them back in one grade, you know, having them repeat it and stuff like that. Uh, yeah, those are some of my favorite episodes of Beavis and Butthead, okay. I need to start watching those shows again. They keep saying that it will make more episodes, but it just never happens. And one of the, the most uh, new one came out. That was like years ago. Um, Chris Abbott asked me, what's your loadout on Cold War? Uh, Black Ops Cold War? Call of Duty? I've been using the M16 mostly, and that's like it. Like that, 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 That's my go-to gun, you know? The M16. Every time I play like a multiplayer session, but I, I, I've been playing against bots and stuff like that. But even when I, I had the, when I was playing the beta and stuff like that, I play, I, I used the M16 the most. I like that gun. Because it like, it burst, you know? Uh, old and new gamer. Hey David, what games are you most excited for in 2021? Uh, Hitman 3 is coming out very, very soon. Uh, I would like to play it. Um, 
sooner than later, you know. I played Hitman 2 probably like during the end of the year, uh, months after it came out, you know. Um, and I thought Hitman 2 was a little short. Like, there, there is live streams of it on my YouTube channel, you know. I beat the game in like three hours. So, um, hopefully, uh, Hitman 3 is, uh, has, has a, lot of, a lot of content, you know. Different ways on, on beating the, uh, on getting targets and stuff like that. Uh, other games, I guess you can say that uh, the new Lego Star Wars, uh, uh, Skywalker Saga, I would like to play that one. Um, <clears throat> what else? The usual stuff. I'm pretty sure it's going to be a new Battlefield or Call of Duty game coming out this year. Um, uh, next NBA 2K, no, this past year I played uh, NBA 2K twice. I played 2K20 and 2K21. I played the My Career modes in both of them. I really enjoyed them. I would like to like uh, get through the, uh, the new one, uh, NBA 2K22, uh, uh, you know. Alright, uh, next question here, very similar. Ashton Alive. For the Q&A, hey David, what movies are you excited for in 2021? Movies? Well, Fast and Furious, Godzilla vs. Kong, um, uh, Black Widow is supposed to come out, you know, uh, Suicide Squad, mm, I guess I can say the uh, Snyder Cut, you know, so, yeah, th those are some things that are coming out this year, movies and, and shows or whatever, you know, looking forward to those. Is that one, two, three, four? Yeah, that, that's five questions. I, I, I only screenshot five questions. I guess that's it. <laughs> so, uh, one movie I saw this past week, actually two movies, okay? I saw this. I bought uh, the Scooby-Doo WWE collaboration. So it has Scooby-Doo WrestleMania Mysteries, okay? It's got John Cena, The Miz, Kane, AJ Lee's in it. And then we have here, Scooby-Doo Curse of the Speed Demon, <clears throat> which has, a uh, it has Paige, The Miz is also in this one, Undertaker's in it, um, Goldust, uh, Stardust, um, Sheamus was in it, uh, yeah, so, the first movie was more WWE related, okay, so, you know, the Mystery Inc., they, they went to WrestleMania, okay, and at WrestleMania, someone's trying to sabotage it, you know? They had uh, Scooby-Doo hypnotized to, grip, to steal the belt and stuff like that. He was framed, stole, stole the belt and whatever, you know? And they had to find out uh, who uh, who took it, okay? And, you know, Triple H and Mr. McMahon and all that stuff, uh, they'd show up in, in the, uh, in the uh, movie also, okay? Curse of the Speed Demons, it was a little weird to me because I'd never seen WWE put on a pay-per-view that's a racing event. As far as I know, every time I see a WWE event, it's always been wrestling, okay? This is race cars, and I feel like they had a, um, a different plot line meant for something else, you know? And I was like, oh, we can't get NASCAR or Formula One to do this movie. Let's just do WWE again and uh, have them race. So each, you know, The Undertaker has his own race car and you know, The Miz and Sheamus has his own stuff like that. And Triple H and Stephanie had their own, like, monster truck and stuff like that. And they do a race. That was the WWE pay-per-view. The, 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 the big event, okay? Was a big Indy 500 sort of thing, okay? And someone was sabotaging it, man. And uh, they had to figure out who it is uh, and stuff like that. Undertaker has a lot of lines in this, man. And uh, I like the little fight they had at the end. He, he was on top of one of, the, one of the vehicles. He was, like, fighting the... The, the speed demon, you know, and then he tombstone and stuff like that, and, uh, yeah, P pretty cool. So, if you haven't checked out, you know, this is a two-disc set. Well, you can buy these movies separately also, but, uh, but yeah, I saw Scooby-Doo this past week. There's, like, other stuff on this. Like, they have bonus cartoons and behind-the-scenes stuff and featurettes and stuff like that. I didn't watch those. Like, I just watched the main movies, okay? And I like them, all right? Well, I... I guess we can just do this haul. I bought one video game this past week. I bought Scribblenauts, the Mega Pack, okay? The Scribblenauts Mega Pack has the original game, Scribblenauts Unmasked. Oh, uh, no, uh, Scribblenauts Unlimited. And then there's also Scribblenauts Unmasked, which has a DC theme to it, a DC Comics adventure. 
I haven't played this one yet. I may live stream it, but I'm playing the first Scribble Knots right now. The, uh, the, the not the first, the uh, Scribble Knots Unlimited. Okay, it's not too bad of a game. If you don't know what this game's about, it's like there's little uh, puzzles. It's a side-scrolling game. Okay, <clears throat> so you talk to this person and they're like, "Oh, I'm sad." So it pops up a uh, a keyboard. You know, like it pops up a uh, something to type in. Okay, and uh, I, I know this game probably you know. There's a PC version or something like that. I can't imagine <laughs> them making this for consoles in the beginning, you know, with consoles in mind. So you have to type in, okay, so this person's sad, so how about a balloon? So you type in balloon, and then you, and, and when you press enter, a balloon pops up. And then you give it to the person, and then we be happy. You get like stars, you get points or whatever, you know. So that's how the game is, okay? So let's say, oh, there's a, there's a cat up in a tree or whatever. Well, you gotta go, go get it somehow. So you type in, well, let's see wings and then you get wings and you attach it to your character and now you can fly and stuff like that so uh, you can use your imagination and stuff like that for uh, for different things you can go with the obvious stuff okay like i remember one thing it's like there's a wall what can you do to, to take down the wall okay so i thought about you know let's throw a rock at it or something and then instead i was like mech warrior you know tank thing they can drive, you know? I typed it in and it actually worked. <laughs> a giant robot mech. And I sat, sat inside and I shot shooting rockets at the wall and stuff like that. So you can let your imaginations go wild with this game, okay? And I'll, I'll probably live stream it in the future if you guys want me to. Because I've been playing this game while listening to podcasts and music and stuff like that, you know? Rest here, all DVDs and movies here. I bought The Nightmare Before Christmas. Now, a lot of you guys are probably like, Hey, David, you already got them for Christmas. Yeah, I have it on DVD, now I have it on Blu-ray. This is the sing-along edition, okay? And it also comes with digital code. I don't have a digital code for Nightmare for Christmas, okay? And I don't want to spend, like, 20 bucks on, uh, on Voodoo or whatever, on movies anywhere. So I'm just going to get this. And plus, I get the Blu-ray. I don't have the Blu-ray, okay? So, $10 for that. Actually, it wasn't even $10. It was like 7 because it was like a 30% off uh, deal at the uh, Movies Galore place, okay? I, I saw this at uh, Walmart, and I was like, let's go ahead and just get it, okay? $10 at Walmart right now. It's Titans Season 2. I haven't seen Season 1 yet, but I've heard good things about this show, and I, I don't have a HBO Max and stuff like that where I can watch this show, so might as well. I'm going to get this, and hopefully, uh, I don't know, Martin Luther King's Spring Break, Valentine's Day Weekend. I'll, I'll, I'll watch it, okay? <laughs> I've heard nothing but good things about that show. Another DVD here is Evolve 19. Evolve Wrestling, okay? So I bought some DVDs online, and uh, the dude was like snowed in or whatever. Like the seller, okay? Was, sell, uh, was like snowed in. He couldn't send me my package. And, uh, and uh, as a way of, uh, you know, thank you for my patience, because that's what he said, you know? Thank you for your patience. As I uh, take two months to send your package in the mail, he sent me a bonus DVD. Evolve Wrestling Presents Evolve 19. I, I don't really know much about Evolve Wrestling, but uh, there are some familiar faces in here. Ricochet is in WWE and NXT. He's in here. All right, so this is... Look, Early, earlier stuff, like before he, he went to WWE, you know, uh, he was in Evolve Wrestling, apparently. I saw this for, uh, for, uh, at a Goodwill. I couldn't believe it, man. The Office, complete series. So it has seasons one and two, and apparently there's a movie, okay. I'm going to check this out, because I saw seasons one and two of the... United States, the uh, American version of uh, The Office. I wonder how it compares to the uh, to the original, the one from uh, from uh, BBC. Okay, so I'll, I'll I'll check this out. The original Office. See how it's what it's like and stuff like that. Okay, I have a feeling there was a slip cover. It's not here anymore. Okay, but uh, I know the show has uh, who plays uh, Bilbo in, in uh, the Hobbit movies. He's in this. All right. <laughs> Finally, I saw this out of Goodwill also, the Jamie Kenny Experiment Season 3. This is the, the missing one. Um, 
I was hanging out with my friend Nathaniel, and we saw this at the Goodwill. Okay, we bought other things there too, but this is the one thing I want to show off. I have all three seasons now. I previously had seasons one and two bought at a pawn shop, and uh, I was like missing season three. I was like, I'm never gonna. I need to wait till it shows up in a uh, Goodwill or a thrift store or a pawn shop or something like that before I buy uh, Jimmy Candy. I'm not gonna get on eBay for like 20 bucks and stuff like that. And, uh, and finally, two years later. There it was. <laughs> I, I totally forgot about my collection. I, when I saw this, I was like, yeah, I'll get it. Season three of the Jimmy Kenny experiment. This is like, uh, Jimmy Kenny used to like dress up as different people, okay? And would like uh, prank you. Uh, it's like one of those prank shows, okay? These days you see that stuff on YouTube, you know? But uh, way back when, that's how we, how we see pranks, okay? They, they uh, you know, they would, he would dress up as someone and try to put people in, Awkward situations and stuff like that. All right, I guess I guess that's it. Where are we on time? Fifteen minutes. All right, I, that's a good vlog right there. So thank you for watching, everyone. Be sure to comment, and subscribe. If you have some questions, uh, comment below, and I'll uh, pick out my favorite ones to answer next week. Okay? If I didn't answer your question, just ask it again, because it's kind of like a little mini rule of mine. I, I just want to keep this video. You know, I, I don't want to talk for like twenty hours. You know, <laughs> like a whole whole hour. You know what I'm saying? So. I pick out like five questions each time. If it's a good, there were some good questions, you know, in uh, last week's vlog that I wish I answered this week. So ask it again, otherwise it'll just like disappear, <laughs> you know. So uh, thank you for watching and uh, stay cool, stay, stay warm, you know. It's, it's getting really cold out there. It's the winter, you know. And I'll talk to you guys later. Bye bye.